Hello everybody, this is your Professor Ian. Welcome to English 78. This is a short video where I'm going to show you um, how I'm using the Canvas site, uh, how I set everything up, where you can look for everything. So, if you're brand new to Canvas or you need a reminder, over here on the left is what they call the glo uh, glo Global Navigation Bar. And so this is um, things having to do with Chafee as an institution, right? Your account, um, all your courses, you can navigate between courses, an inbox, although this will probably go to your uh, Panther email as well. Um, student support, that's super important. Um, link to follow, uh, take you to the counselors, writing centers, success centers, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, the course itself, there's a, the course navigation menu is right here. I don't have many options open and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, there's the home button and this is the home page right here. The modules, that's the most important, your grades. So you can look those over and then I have a link to the OWL at Purdue and that should help you with any writing concerns that you have. It's the best writing resource on the internet, in my opinion, the best free one anyways. So your page might look different than this because I'm on my laptop. I'm on student view, so this should be close to what you're seeing. But if you're on a, uh, some other device, then it might look different, but it's the same features. So anyways, this is the home page. Uh, a little bit about the, the course, a uh, welcome video, check that out. Um, there's uh, just a bit about me, picture of me and my two boys, uh, my office hours, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday uh, is listed here. Make sure that that's what's listed between one and three. Um, stuff about the course itself, my role as the instructor, the textbook. This is a no cost course, so you don't have to buy a textbook. And then some uh, some stuff about um, growth mindset, which is a term you might have heard at JP. Anyways, that's the home page. Just some general information, some links to some more information. Uh, the grades owl, but the most important page is modules. There will also be an announcements tab eventually. Once I start putting announcements up, I'm still building the course right now, as you can see, or as you will see in a second. Um, anyways, this is where everything is. The modules tab is your go-to place. I've broken everything down week by week. So we start with what I call module zero, which is just introduction to the course. And every week starts with an overview. So if you click on that, it's just an overview, a uh, breakdown of what we're doing that week. Usually there will be a video, just me explaining what we're doing that week. Um, but every week we'll have that overview. Um, and then there's various things to work through in the module zero, just to um, familiarize yourself with the course you're probably here canvas walkthrough so uh, and then at the end of every module there is a link to my office hours so you can click here uh, and then click on this link here and it'll take you to my zoom room and i'll have information below about my my zoom um, address if you want to just punch it into your punch in a zoom manually you can also navigate between the pages here there's a little next button and a, and a previous button um, so this will take you to the week one overview. Again, this one's a little more simplified because, you know, we're just starting off, so I won't have a complicated intro, but usually I have a video talking about the main concepts we're looking at. And then we're getting into some material I want you to look at. Uh, this one, The Birth of World Lit. It's a fun little video about how this idea of world literature came about. So let's take a look at what a usual module, usual week looks like. Um, there, I have four categories. That I divide work into reading and, and concept quizzes, discussions, journals, and then some weeks will have other activities. So if we're working on a bigger project or the group project or things like that, there will be other pro other other activities as well as a header. So every week you have stuff to look at, read, including concept quizzes, and then you'll have discussions. We're going to be using perusal to discuss our texts. We'll be reading a lot of primary texts. Every week you'll be asked to uh, shoot a Flipgrid video. This is just a Flipgrid is just a free app that allows you to share videos uh, with your, your peers. Um, and you can turn off the video and just shoot audio. That's fine. If you don't want to be on video, I know I, I don't like filming myself either, but you know, if I'm a professor, so I had to get over that. Um, but you know, everybody has their own tastes and, and, and whatnot. So do what you will with Flipgrid. It's just meant to be a social way to talk about some of these ideas. Uh, and then every week we'll do a journal, which is just a chance for you to spend a little bit more time thinking about one of the ideas that we worked with. I'm the only one that sees the journals. It's just a written thing that you turn in every week, a writing journal. Uh, so here's 
not, we, number one's a little wimpy because it's just us kind of like thinking about the main ideas of the course, getting to know each other. Week two beefs up a bit. We're getting into our first primary text, which is the Epic of Gilgamesh, as you see here. Um, and as you see under reading and concept quizzes, there's a lot of stuff, right? There's, what do I have? Like eight items. I might even add more. I'm always tinkering with this. And once, when I come across really fun stuff, I'd like to put it up. I don't expect you to spend a lot of time with all of these items, but the concept quizzes I do. The concept quizzes are worth marks. So I've tried to uh, prioritize some of the information in the reading and, and, and the reading section. This is like background contextual material for the primary text. So I put the most important stuff, or what I consider the most important stuff, into the concept quiz, um, turn them into concept quizzes. And the concept quizzes are just, I'm using a, an app called Play Posit where you put a lecture or whatnot into this app. It's a free, it's through Canvas, you don't have to worry about you know downloading anything. And it just allows me to like add uh, reflection questions or quiz questions to videos to help you stay engaged with the material. Okay, so there's, you know, I put there's some fun stuff, you know, there's a graphic novel version of Gilgamesh, which is not, um, uh, it's got some adult material, so, you know, be careful with some of this stuff. Epic of Gilgamesh has some gross stuff in it. Uh, you know, there's a fun summary, there's a podcast about the origins of our version of the Epic of Gilgamesh. So again, a lot of contextual stuff you don't have to spend a lot of time with. I would suggest looking through each thing quickly, spend, you know, coming back to it throughout the week as, as you get into the text and you're starting to think about these things more. Um, but anyways, that's the readings and concept quizzes category, then discussions. These are worth marks. So we're discussing the Epic of Gilgamesh, uh, breaking it. I like to break these primary texts into parts so you can, you know, you don't have to chew it all up at once. We're not reading all of, all of these, um, uh, texts. You know, we don't have time to read all of the Iliad or the Odyssey or the Aeneid and things like this, but we will read, uh, chunks of them. I'm trying to keep it under 50 pages a week. So I think I've, I think I've done that, except for Beowulf, but Beowulf's a quick read, so don't worry about that. Anyway, so discussion, using perusal, Flipgrid to think about your, you know, think about these texts a little bit, and then again, another journal to uh, spend some more time with an idea from the readings. You can see that again, week three, when we're getting into uh, the Iliad, right? Discussion, you know, readings with concept quizzes, discussion, journal, uh, the Odyssey. I'm just looking for a week where we do something different. Okay, so... You know, week five, we're wrapping up our ancient world literature uh, unit. So there's uh, uh, an exit poll, which is just uh, me asking you to reflect very, very quickly on what we've learned, what what you think um, you'd like to go on to learn about this topic. Anyways, that's about it for now. This is, again, modules is where you come. All the readings are linked here. All the assignments are linked here. You don't need to go anywhere else to find any of that material. Okay, so that's about it for now. If you have any questions or concerns, of course, please email me and I will respond immediately or within 24 hours. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.